Do you have questions from your customers? Well, of course you do. Because every time someone does a search on Google, they're really asking a question. And that means that if you're selling any type of product or really have any type of website at all, you're probably gonna wanna have an area of FAQs. Now that's great, but sometimes when you have multiple FAQs around your website, it can become a little bit tricky on how to exactly manage that. So we created the FAQ plugin from Divi Framework. It's got modules, a post type, and a bunch of excellent tools to help you manage your FAQs. So let me head on into the office right now, and I'm gonna show you how you use the FAQ module and how it can simplify the management of FAQs on your Divi website. So managing FAQs with our Divi Framework FAQ plugin is really quite simple. In the back end, you'll see that you've got a list of all these FAQs from the left-hand menu, and you can easily edit any of these. I can open one up, and you can see I've got my question, which is the title, and the content here, which is the answer. We can also add various categories, and you can have as many categories as you like. You manage those under the FAQ taxonomy area. You can see here I've got two types. On the front end, we have a number of different layouts. Here on this particular restaurant uh, layout, you can see that we've got these kind of column setups which looks pretty cool, pretty simple. They're all just obviously dummy FAQs. But if I edit the page, you'll be able to see some of the different options that we have. Now this is the mul what we call the multi-column FAQ. So I can say only show specific categories or show all of them. I can say if I want to group by the categories or not and which categories I'd like to include. So if I turn off weddings and events, click save and exit and click update, Now when I view the page, you'll notice that there's only the restaurant FAQs, right? The rest of them have gone, okay? Really simple stuff, right? It makes it really easy to manage what you've got in the page. Now before, if I was gonna do that, I would have to delete all the text content. And if I decided I didn't like it, I'd have to roll back. Whereas now it's just a simple case of simply clicking the item just like that and save and exit and I get it back. Uh, which is fantastic. It's a really great way to manage your FAQs because you might have FAQs for your contact page, for example, and different set of FAQs for another type of page. And there's also different types of modules as well. So you'll see that you've got the multi-column FAQ, but I've also just got the default FAQ. And when I do that, I'm gonna say, I wanna display a title and my title will be FAQ. I wanna group by categories and I want to display category titles. You can also put in custom views. This means you can create your own HTML views that you can put in as a template there. And to do that, you simply turn it on and you can select a custom view. Now, for now, we won't go into that. I'm just gonna show you that there's a different module. And this is basically an accordion module. So now I've got two modules, top and bottom. I'm gonna click update. And once I've done that, I click to go back to the page. So there's the existing layouts there. And now I've got this other type of layout. See how it's turned it into a nice, cool little accordion like that with the title in that I put in and the different groupings. Amazing, isn't it? And that's all done just with the simplicity of having that FAQ module. So this means that you can insert them on multiple pages, control them all in the one post type. So now if I add a new item, into here and I created a new FAQ, it would automatically be added everywhere that this category of FAQs is. And that is certainly gonna make your life much, much easier when it comes to managing frequently asked questions.